today we'll play a game it's called tic tac toe what a funny name let's draw this grid has anyone played this game before Player 1 writes a cross. This player has put the cross in the top left corner. Now, player 2 writes a knot. This player has put the knot bang in the middle. Player 1 writes a cross again. This time he has put the cross in the bottom right corner. Now it is the second player's turn again. Look, he has put the knot in the top right corner. Now, player 1's turn again. See where he has put the cross? He has put it below the knot in the middle. Now, player 2's turn again. See where he puts the knot? He has put it in the bottom of the left corner. Yeah! Player 2 got 3 knots in a row. Player 2 is the winner. Okay, let's try this together. Can anyone tell me where the first cross can go? That's right, anywhere. We put now the cross bang in the middle. Let's put it in the center. Now where can the knot go? Now where can the knot go? The knot can go to the left or right of the cross. It can also go on top or below the cross. <coughs> Think, where else can the knot go? That's right, the knot can go into the corners. Take a close look at the slide. The first one to get three crosses or three knots in a line wins. See the examples. Where should knot go now? If you don't put the knot in the right bottom corner, three crosses will be in a row and crosses will win. Let's revise tic-tac-toe rules. There is a 3 by 3 grid with 9 spaces. There are 2 players. One playing first uses crosses. The other one knots. Take turns writing crosses or knots into one of the nine spaces. Whoever makes three crosses or three knots in a row wins. If all nine spaces are filled up and no one wins, the game is a draw. Let's review one example together. Take a look at the slide and see how the players have played. Who has put the cross, who has put the knot and where they have put it.
Now, take a look at the slide and see how the game unfolds. See, all the nine spaces are filled up, but neither the crosses nor the knots are in a row. So, there are no winners. This game is a draw. Shall we practice tic-tac-toe? Let's play it on the blackboard. I will write the crosses. And who wants to write the knots? Come on everybody, please find yourself a partner. Take a worksheet. Play a tic-tac-toe with your partner. Take turns doing crosses and knots. Did you find something interesting? How many games were won when you played with crosses? And how many games were won when you played with knots? How many games were a draw? Do you see any patterns? Okay, now is the time for tic-tac-toe quiz show. Let's have two teams. Odd roll number is team 1. Even roll number is team 2. Toss a coin. Team winning the toss gets to play crosses. So, this is how we go about playing tic-tac-toe in a quiz show. First question to team crosses. Correct answer will get you to play and you will be able to write the cross. If you get a wrong answer, then the other team gets to play and write a knot. Ready? Get set, go! ठीक है, इस वर्ष फर्स्ट टाइम, पर पूछे ऐसे नहीं है साधारण विस्मित आदमी तो सब कर